It's important for Christians to have a theology of the land because it's a very important theme in the Bible. The challenge we have in our modern Western world is that the concept of land has been reduced to a commodity that we call real estate. It's something that can be bought or sold. But land traditionally is a place of heritage. It's a place of identity. So it's not surprising that in a world where we see land as a commodity, that we fail to have a robust theology of the land. But we as Christians believe in a physical resurrection. And if we believe in a physical resurrection, then land is integral to our existence. We often talk about how the Bible redeems people without thinking about where those people will live. We know that human beings need a physical world in which to live. What about our resurrected physical bodies? Within this understanding of God's ownership of the entire earth, we're introduced to the whole idea of a holy land. Uh, this concept begins in Eden, and we see that it is God's presence in the land that sanctifies it. And as the Bible proceeds, uh, we learn that there is a new Eden, which is seen in the nation of Israel, who are a chosen people living in a chosen land. But that's not an end in itself, but it's that through this holy land that all the earth might be blessed. And this finds its fulfilment through the resurrection of Jesus. And through the resurrection of Jesus, this leads to God blessing the entire earth. And we see that after the resurrection of Jesus, God sends the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, who fills not just Israel, but the whole earth with his glory. And so in many ways, the theology of the New Testament is moving from a holy land to a holy earth. And God's presence is with us on the earth. So in developing a theology of the land, we need to be very careful not to worship the land. That's idolatry, and it's very prevalent in the 21st century world. But equally true, we need to remember the fact that God values the land. And so creation care is important for Christians. God has not given up on this world. And so we should remember that the original mandate that was given to our forebear Adam was to care for this world and to be God's vice regent within this world. We see this mandate is fulfilled in the final Adam, Jesus. And so we too should have a robust theology of the land.